it's Brittany with Tech Tips, and I'm here to answer the question, what is shortcuts roulette? I hear it from people all the time, sometimes clients and sometimes other people in the tech community, that they'd like to use shortcuts more but aren't sure where to start or aren't sure what it would even do for them. Of course, when we get as deep as one-on-one -on -one coaching, sometimes I suggest shortcuts or we talk about the things that they'd like to do faster. But when people just want to do it on their own, what resources do they have? I found once people see a few practical applications, they can start seeing how it would impact them and other things they might be able to use shortcuts for. I wanted to give folks a bunch of examples of shortcuts, but looking at just a really long list is super boring. And if I only show my super fancy complicated shortcuts, those aren't useful for a lot of people. They are very tailored to me specifically. So I've been wondering for a while how to introduce folks to a lot of shortcuts without just presenting a list of shortcuts or a list of actions. That's why in Shortcuts Roulette, we'll be picking a shortcut completely at random out of my personal shortcuts library. No matter how embarrassing it is, and a lot of them are really embarrassing. Each individual shortcut may not apply to you, but hopefully by seeing a few of them and starting to watch how they're put together or what actions are involved, you'll start getting ideas of shortcuts you'd like to make. I also put a time limit on how long I can talk about each shortcut. Some of my shortcuts are hundreds of actions long, but I don't know what ones would be a useful deep dive. That's where you come in. If you see one and I don't talk about it in a lot of depth, after all, I've only had, what, 30 seconds notice before I start talking about it? And you wanna know more, share it in the comments. Ask me questions. Maybe I'll make a video going into it in depth. I have no way of knowing which shortcuts are interesting to you unless you tell me. Because I have almost no notice in talking about these shortcuts, I'm not gonna be as articulate. That's just how this goes. Although I can't promise there's no editing. After all, I don't wanna make you listen to all of the rants that maybe weren't that useful after all. But, I do want to be authentic. These are my real shortcuts, or a shortcut I downloaded one time and never used, and that's embarrassing. Tell me how this sounds. I'm looking for feedback. I think this sounds like fun, but I have no idea if it's useful to anybody else, unless you tell me. And because it's my love of automation and my love of shortcuts that's fueling this whole thing, of course I baked a lot of that into the shortcut. Let's take a look at my actual shortcuts roulette shortcut. It won't surprise you at first we're gonna get all shortcuts. And then I pick a random item. That's gonna be the shortcut you see. I'm not choosing it. One of the things I wanted to automate with this shortcut while I'm running it was to gather all the information I needed for my YouTube description. This is where the audience is gonna see which item I've picked. And then it's going to open up the shortcut so you can see it. This is part I'm always going to edit out. I'm not gonna make you watch the part where I get the iCloud sharing link. But if I don't do it first, then if I delete it, I can't get the sharing link after. <laughs> and I don't know what shortcut is ahead of time. So I have to pause and get the sharing link. Otherwise, I can't get the sharing link later if I delete it. I have an alert that says start explaining and then it pauses for two minutes. That's how long I have to talk. Then it's gonna get the item, the shortcut, and run it. I have no idea why this 15 seconds is in here. Uh, is it because that's how long I think it will take to run it? I don't know, I know the answer to that. Maybe it's just so I have to sit there and keep staring at the, I, I, have, I got nothing. Comment your code, people. This is the part where it says keep it or ditch it. And because of course my finger slips sometimes, I have asking if I'm really, really sure. <laughs> and then Apple also has one in the delete item that says, are you really sure? So I got lots of things to make sure I'm really sure because that would be super annoying. And then you see it has the keep it, ditch it. That's part of my YouTube description. So in the YouTube description, it's gonna say, did I keep it or did I ditch it? You'll have the information about the shortcut, but I didn't put it in manually because that's not the point of shortcuts. Manual is not how we do that. And here's the alert, that's all. That's so I know recording can stop. But I still have a few things I have to do, like it's gonna take the text. It's got ask for the what's important to me about this shortcut. This is so I can add it to the description so the description is truly done almost as soon as I'm done shooting. In fact, before I turn the cameras off. And then it's just gonna send it to drafts. That way I can actually record multiple ones and maybe not even turn off the camera. It's just gonna be there and the description's gonna be there when I'm done. Then I only have to worry about the thumbnail. And that's Shortcuts Roulette. I know I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments. Is there something you'd like to see different? Is two minutes too long? Is it too short? I picked it at random, I have no idea. Is there something else you'd like to see or something else you'd like to make sure I cover on each shortcut? Let me know. Until next time.
one which I find weird. Maybe that's why the timer pause was there.